Hello all, welcome back to our class. Yesterday we had discussed about various units of measurements of an angle as well as trigonometric ratios. Now we will be discussing about the values of trigonometric ratios at some specified angles. Right? So, let us have a look on one of the trigonometric ratios sin theta, right? where theta is an angle and this angle can be either in degrees or either in radians or either in grades. So, we are discussing about only degrees in our grade 10. So, let us think about what are the values of all these six trigonometric ratios at some specified angles. Specified angles means not all the angles, only the angles from 0 degrees to 90 degrees and that to 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees as well as 90 degrees. Now, what is the value of sin 0 degrees, sin 30 degrees, sin 45 degrees, sin 60 degrees as well as sin 90 degrees along with sin about all other trigonometric ratios also. right? But basically this theta is an acute angle and moreover it should be a part of a right angle triangle. But how can you imagine that 0 degrees as well as 90 degrees are part of right angle triangles? Okay, first let us think about all these three angles and then we will think about 0 degrees as well as 90 degrees, right? Okay, coming to this 60 degrees. Now, 60 degrees is familiarly one of the angles of one particular triangle. Can you guess what is the triangle, what is the angle 60 degrees and moreover it is located in which particular triangle constantly? Yes, you are right. 60 degrees is available in an equilateral triangle. But how can you consider an equilateral triangle to figure out all the trigonometric ratios? Let us have a look on that. Okay. So, now according to the properties of equilateral triangle, equilateral triangle is a triangle in which all the three sides are equal as well as all the three angles are equal. Okay. Let me take one equilateral triangle. So, this is an equilateral triangle in which A, B, C are the vertices of equilateral triangle. Of course, all the three angles are equal to 60 degrees. So, angle A equal to 60, angle B equal to 60, angle C is equal to 60 degrees. So, now this angle B is equal to 60 degrees as well as this angle C also equal to 60 degrees. Let me consider every equal side of equilateral triangle is equal to some length x units and this is also x units. Of course, this is also x units. Correct? And now, let me draw a perpendicular from A on to the side BC. So, this is a perpendicular drawn on to the side BC. Let this perpendicular be some AD. But according to the properties of equilateral triangle, the altitude or perpendicular drawn on one of the sides will be the perpendicular bisector of the side. So, that BD is equal to DC. right? And this is 60 degrees, this is 90 degrees. In this triangle, obviously, this angle is going to be 30 degrees. Okay? And moreover, this total length of BC is equal to X that D divides BC into two equal parts so that obviously the length of BD is going to be x by 2 as well as DC is going to be x by 2. And moreover, we will have to find what is the altitude of that particular triangle. And moreover, what kind of triangles these A, D, B and A, D, C are? Yes, obviously, those two triangles are congruent triangles. Right? How are they congruent? By right angle is equal to right angle, hypotenuse equal to hypotenuse, this is one of the side is equal to one of the side. So, by RHS congruence, these two triangles are congruent. So, that you can consider either triangle ADB or you can consider triangle ADC, anything is okay. Now, if you want to apply trigonometric ratios, 
you should know about all the three sides of right angle triangle if you consider right angle triangle adb we know what is the length of ab as well as what is the length of bd but we do not know what is the length of ad can you be able to figure out the value of ad by using pythagoras theorem yes absolutely so because since it is a right angle triangle hypotenuse square equal to side square plus side square then we get the length of ad is equal to root 3 divided by 2 into x and moreover this is a known fact that altitude of an equilateral triangle would be root 3 by 2 times to its side we had already discussed and proved it if you want you can prove it by using pythagoras theorem also fine let us consider this right angle triangle a b d in this right angle triangle there are two angles which is one of them is 30 degrees as well as one of them is 60 degrees okay so let us consider one of the acute angles for example 30 degrees now theta is equal to 30 degrees okay theta is equal to 30 degrees now i am going to figure out all the six trigonometric ratios according to acute angle 30 degrees got it now the first one is sin 30 degrees according to the definition of sin theta sin theta is equal to side opposite to theta divided by hypotenuse so here side opposite to theta is bd going to be x divided by 2 divided by hypotenuse is equal to x x is nothing but x divided by 1 when you cancel x and x then it is going to be 1 divided by 2 so that means the value of sin 30 degrees is equal to 1 by 2 that's a fixed value it will not be changed right when theta is equal to 30 degrees then sin 30 degrees is equal to 1 by 2 now coming to next trigonometric ratio that is cos so cos 30 degrees is equal to according to the definition of cos theta side adjacent to theta by hypotenuse so side adjacent to theta there is root 3 by 2 times x divided by hypotenuse is going to be x again x and x gets cancelled we left with root 3 by 2 so that is the value of cos 30 degrees now coming to tan so tan 30 degrees is equal to what is the definition of tan theta side opposite to theta divided by side adjacent to theta so side opposite to theta here is x divided by 2 divided by side adjacent to theta is equal to root 3 by 2 times x when you cancel x by 2 x by 2 then you left 1 with the numerator whereas the denominator is going to be 3 so the value of tan 30 degrees is equal to 1 divided by root 3 and coming to cosecant 30 degrees so cosecant 30 degrees is equal to according to the definition of cosecant theta hypotenuse by side opposite to theta so where hypotenuse is x divided by side opposite to theta side opposite to 30 degrees is x by 2 what is x by x by 2 again x and x cancel 1 by 1 by 2 will become 2 divided by 1 it means the value of cosecant 30 degrees is equal to 2 from this you can figure it out otherwise by the definitions by the ratios by the relations between trigonometric ratios also we can easily say that cosecant theta is equal to 1 by sin theta since sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2 cosecant 30 is equal to reciprocal of 1 by 2 reciprocal of 1 by 2 is nothing but 2 by 1 obviously that is 2 right and then secant 30 degrees so secant 30 degrees is equal to what is the definition of secant theta hypotenuse by side adjacent to theta so hypotenuse here is x divided by side adjacent to 30 degrees is root 3 divided by 2x so again x and x cancel 1 divided by root 3 by 2 is going to be 2 divided by root 3 so that is the value of secant 30 degrees and coming to last trigonometric ratio that is cot then what is the value of cot 30 degrees according to the definition of cot 30 side adjacent to 30 divided by side opposite to 30 so side adjacent to 30 here is root 3 by 2 x divided by side opposite to 30 is x divided by 2 so here root 3 by 2 x divided by x by 2 so x by 2 x by 2 cancel then we left with root 3 
So, these are 6 trigonometric ratios according to acute angle 30. So, these are all the standardized values, the values will not be changed. So, you will have to remember all the values, right. So, sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2, cos 30 is equal to root 3 by 2, tan 30, 30 means 30 degrees by default, okay. And cosecant 30 degrees is equal to 2, secant 30 is equal to 2 by root 3 and cot 30 is equal to root 3. So, this way we can derive the values of all trigonometric ratios for 30 degrees and okay, 30 degrees values are over, will you be able to figure out the values of all trigonometric ratios according to angle 60 degrees? Yes, it is possible because 60 degrees is available in the same triangle. So, oh, let us try to figure out the values of all 6 trigonometric ratios according to acute angle 60 degrees. Okay. So, now theta is going to be 60 degrees. Okay. Now, for 30 degrees, everything is over. Now, we are going to figure out for 60 degrees. Now, theta is equal to 60 degrees. Coming to the first trigonometric ratio, that is sin. So, sin 60 degrees is equal to, now, according to this angle, with respect to 60 degrees. Now, what is the definition of sin theta, side opposite to theta, by side adjacent to theta, sorry, hypotenuse. Sin 60 is equal to side opposite to 60, that is root 3 divided by 2 x divided by hypotenuse, hypotenuse is equal to x. So, here x and x gets cancelled, then you get root 3 divided by 2. That root 3 divided by 2 is the standard and fixed value of sin 60 degrees. Okay. Now, coming to cos 60 degrees, cos 60 degrees is equal to side adjacent to 60 that is x divided by 2 by hypotenuse that is equal to x. Now, x and x cancel, we left with 1 divided by 2 that is the value of cos 60 degrees and coming to tan. So, tan 60 degrees is equal to side opposite to 60 that is root 3 by 2 x divided by side adjacent to 60 that is x by 2. So, here x by 2 x by 2 cancel we left with only root 3. So, that is the value of tan 60 degrees. Coming to cosecant to 60 degrees, cosecant 60 degrees is equal to hypotenuse divided by side opposite to 60 degrees that is root 3 by 2 x. So, that x divided by root 3 by 2 x, x and x cancel, 1 divided by root 3 by 2 is going to be 2 divided by root 3. That is the value of cosecant 60 degrees and coming to secant 60 degrees. Secant 60 degrees is equal to hypotenuse by side adjacent to 60. Hypotenuse is x divided by side adjacent to 60 that is x divided by 2. So, x by x by 2 is nothing but x x cancel 1 by 1 by 2 is equal to 2 by 1 that is equal to 2. And coming to last trigonometric ratio that is cot 60 degrees. What is the definition of cot theta? Side adjacent to theta divided by side opposite to theta. So, adjacent to theta is x divided by 2 divided by opposite to 60 degrees is root 3 by 2 x. Again, x by 2 x by 2 cancel left with 1 divided by root 3. So, these are 6 trigonometric ratios according to acute angle 60. Right? So, we found the values of all trigonometric ratios at theta is equal to 30 degrees as well as at theta is equal to 60 degrees. So, 30 degrees, 60 degrees over. Now, we left with 0 degrees, 45 degrees as well as 90 degrees. Now, let me think where this 45 degrees is available. In an equal triangle, only 60 degrees available. When you drop a perpendicular, of course, 30 and 60 are available. But in an equal triangle, 45 degrees is not available. But if you consider this 45 degrees is available and moreover, one of the angles should be 90 degrees because it should be a right angle triangle. So, 90 plus 45 is equal to 135. 135 plus how much equal to 180? Obviously, 45 degrees. So, if one angle is equal to 45, then the other angle is obviously 45 degrees if it is a right angle triangle. Right? So, if both the angles are 45, 45 and one of the angle is 90 degrees, then what do you call the triangle? 
this is right angle triangle and two angles are equal then the sides opposite to equal angles also equal means it is an isosceles triangle plus it is a right angle triangle so that you will have to consider a right angled isosceles triangle to figure out the values of trigonometric ratios at 45 degrees right so let us draw one right angled isosceles triangle to figure out the values of all trigonometric ratios at 45 degrees right right angled isosceles triangle means what one of the angle one of the angle should be 90 degrees since it is a right angle triangle and moreover both the angles are equal so it is 45 degrees as well as this angle is also 45 degrees right let us consider uh, one of the sides equal sides of this right angled isosceles triangle is equal to some x then this one also equal to x if this is x and this is x will you be able to identify what is ac yes of course by using pythagoras theorem right hypotenuse square equal to side square plus side square so ac square equal to x square plus x square what is x square plus x square 2x square so ac square is equal to 2x square then what is the value of ac going to be square root 2x square correct square root 2x square means square root 2 cannot be simplified further but square root x square square and root gets cancel then you get x therefore the value of the hypotenuse is going to be square root 2 times x that is what is the length of the hypotenuse of right angled isosceles triangle is root 2 times to its side please do remember these all are standard values when you have an isosceles right angle triangle then the hypotenuse of isosceles right angle triangle is always root 2 times to its side please do remember okay let's get into our uh, problem finding the values of all trigonometric ratios okay so first one now theta is equal to 45 degrees when theta is equal to 45 degrees then which 45 degrees we should consider both are equal to 45 degrees so that you can consider any one of the 45 degrees doesn't matter okay let us fix for this okay let us consider this 45 degrees now first sin 45 degrees sin 45 degrees is equal to side opposite to 45 that is x divided by hypotenuse is equal to root 2 x can we cancel x and x then we left with 1 divided by root 2 this is the value of sin 45 degrees so coming to cos 45 degrees so cos 45 degrees is equal to again what is the definition of cos 45 side adjacent to 45 divided by hypotenuse that is root 2 times x again x and x cancel we left with 1 divided by root 2 so what we observed here the value of sin 45 is 1 by root 2 as well as cos 45 is also equal to 1 by root 2 we can understand one simple result here the simple logic simple relation between sin and cos if sin of one angle is equal to cos of that angle means sin 45 is equal to 1 by root 2 cos 45 is also equal to 1 by root 2 suppose if i have a question that if sin theta is equal to cos theta if sin theta is equal to cos theta then what can you infer about theta means what at which angle sin as well as cos both are equal you can understand easily and identify that at 45 degrees sin and cos both are equal because sin 45 is exactly equal to cos 45 degrees therefore if sin theta is equal to cos theta then theta is equal to 45 degrees okay you will have to remember this you will have to identify of course right so coming to the next trigonometric ratio what is the next trigonometric ratio yes of course tan so tan 45 degrees tan 45 degrees is equal to side opposite to 45 that is x divided by side adjacent to 45 that is also equal to x what is the value of x by x yes x and x gets cancel then you get 1 so the value of tan 45 degrees is equal to 
1 and coming to the next trigonometric ratio that is cosecant to 45 degrees. Cosecant 45 degrees what is the definition of cosecant theta? Hypotenuse root 2 x divided by side opposite to 45 that is x. Again x and x cancel you get root 2. So, the value of cosecant 45 degrees is equal to root 2 and coming to the next trigonometric ratio that is secant. So, secant 45 degrees. Secant 45 degrees is equal to again hypotenuse divided by means root 2 times x divided by side adjacent to 45 it means x. So, x and x cancel again you get root 2. Again you see here cosecant 45 is root 2 secant 45 is also equal to root 2. So, what can you infer about cosecant and secant? Yes, same as like sin and cos. If cosecant theta is equal to secant theta, then theta is equal to 45 degrees, right? This 45 degrees has so many relations so that you can easily remember for these trigonometric ratios, right? And after cosecant secant, the final trigonometric ratio that is cot 45 degrees. So, cot 45 degrees is equal to what is the definition of cot 45? Side adjacent to 45 divided by side opposite to 45 that is x divided by x which is equal to 1. So, this is about the values of all trigonometric ratios at theta is equal to 45 degrees. But 45 degrees has some special characters here that sin theta and cos theta are equal, cosecant theta and secant theta are equal, tan theta and cot theta are equal. Now, you will have to think back what we discussed about some ratios which are formed being added by the word CO, co, co ratios, sin co ratios is cosine means cos, see sin and cos are equal, tan co ratio is cot, so tan and cot are equal, tan 45 equal to cot 45 and secant and cosecant both are equal at 45 degrees, so that trigonometric ratios are equal to their co ratios at theta is equal to 45 degrees. So, please do remember this, this is a very useful and important result, right. So, now we derived the values of all trigonometric ratios for 30 degrees, for 45 degrees and for 60 degrees because all these three angles are available in triangle, either it is a right angle triangle or non right angle triangle, but these angles are available as acute angles in right angle in triangles, but what about 0 degrees as well as 90 degrees? because 0 degrees and 90 degrees are not available in triangle as acute angles. Then how do you figure out the ratios of all trigonometric ratios at theta is equal to 0 degrees and at theta is equal to 90 degrees? Let us have a look on that. It is really interesting. So, you will have to understand okay, how we are going to derive this. Before we derive the values of these trigonometric ratios for 0 degrees and 90 degrees, let us try to understand this is a coordinate plane, right? So, this is x axis and this is y axis, okay? Suppose I am plotting a point here, the name of the point is x comma y, means the coordinates of the point are x and y. So, how do you know that that point is x comma y or the coordinates of the point x comma y? Because if you observe the distance of this point, for example, this point is P, the distance of that point from y axis is x and the distance of that point from x axis is y, then only that point is considered as x comma y, right? This is what like how you are identifying your location. For example, if you open your Google, uh, like Google location, right? So, if you want to um, just convey to your friend to reach your place, you can simply share that Google location. See how they identify that Google location because that particular Google location says that. So, how many units distance otherwise how many kilometers or how many meters distance your place is from one particular basic point, okay? So, from that particular basic point and from other references, so, they will exactly locate your place. See here, in an even in ninth class also, we discuss some uh, concepts on this plotting of points. For example, uh, this is a table, okay. So, in this table, for example, I kept one table lamp here, right. 
एंड यू आर आस्ड ए क्वेश्चन दैट लोकेट वेयर दैट टेबल लैंप इज प्लेस्ड देन ऑब्वियसली वी से दैट द टेबल लैंप इज प्लेस्ड ऑन वन कॉर्नर ऑफ द टेबल one corner of the table in the sense what is this the only corner can't you say that this is the corner can't you say that nearer to that see these are all are irrelevant answers but we are not exactly conveying the message that where that tab table lamp is located on the table if you would say that this table lamp is at some unit distance from the top edge and from some unit distance from the right edge then exactly you can say that that is the position or that is the location of the table lamp we cannot simply say that the table lamp is nearer to the top edge nearer to the top edge is nothing but is if it is nearer then what do you call this is it not nearer to that and suppose if you keep some closure is it not nearer to that that is not the location that you are locating exactly so that is why if you would say how many units distance from the top edge with reference to the top edge or with reference to the bottom edge anything is okay doesn't matter but with reference to one of the edges so how many units distance the table lamp is placed at so then we can exactly say that this is what the location like that x comma y is the location of a point on the coordinate plane how can you say that that is the location of the point because that point x comma y is exactly at x unit distance from y axis and y units distance from x axis then only you can say that that point is x comma y did you understand right so moving on to our concept here that is the point x comma y now i am going to figure out the point x comma y here see i am joining that o and p o is nothing but origin okay when you join o and p there is a right angle triangle formed see this is y and this is horizontal axis so the value of this length is same as this length because it's basically a rectangle let us name this point is some a one subject triangle o p a we can understand one thing that this op is started rotating in anti clockwise direction then that angle is formed and angle can be considered as positive angle theta with the help of this right angle triangle oap you can find out the values of all trigonometric ratios right i will just write here what is the value of sin theta so sin theta is equal to side opposite to theta divided by hypotenuse let us say hypotenuse is equal to some r is equal to r and cos theta cos theta is equal to side adjacent to theta by hypotenuse right and tan theta so tan theta is equal to side opposite to theta divided by side adjacent to theta and cosecant theta so cosecant theta is equal to hypotenuse divided by side opposite to theta and secant theta is equal to hypotenuse by side adjacent to theta and finally cot theta is equal to side adjacent to theta divided by side opposite to theta these are basically the six trigonometric ratios according to this particular right angle triangle with respect to that acute angle theta now the task begin see here this op lying on x axis if this op lies on x axis then what is the value of this theta x axis is the initial ray and op is the final ray because it is rotating in anti clockwise direction so when it is rotating in anti clockwise direction then some angle theta is formed but now our point is if ox and op coincide each other coincide each other is nothing but what the rotation not started at if the rotation is not started at then what would be the value of theta if the rotation is not started then the value of theta is equal to 0 degrees obviously if there is no angle formed means the angle is equal to 0 degrees yes that is one point and moreover this x axis and op coinciding each other means one lie on the other if that one lie on the other what about the position of the point p see here the position of the point p here is this is x axis and this is origin 
when it is not started rotation this is what the position of the point p if this is the position of the point p then op lying on x axis op lying on x axis means the value of op is equal to r should be on x axis then in this case the value of x and r both are equal because oa is equal to x and op is also lying on x axis so that p and a coincide each other got it so then the value of x and the value of r r r both are equal then what about the vertical length so the vertical length ap that vertical length ap is equal to y is not there because p and a coincide since p and a coincide the value of y is going to be zero did you get my point so here x is equal to r and y is equal to zero when x is equal to r y is equal to zero theta is equal to zero degrees will you be able to figure out the values of all trigonometric ratios at theta is equal to 0 degrees yes obviously we can find out the values of all trigonometric ratios according to theta is equal to 0 degrees and the value of x is equal to r and y is equal to 0 shall we start finding the values right now first of all sin 0 degrees is equal to where theta is equal to 0 degrees which is y divided by r what is the value of y here y is equal to 0 so that 0 divided by r is equal to r so 0 by r is equal to 0 therefore the value of sin 0 degrees is equal to 0 and coming to cos so cos 0 degrees cos 0 degrees means cos theta is equal to 0 degrees is equal to x divided by r so x by r where the value of x and r both are equal so r divided by r r by r is equal to 1 so that is the value of cos 0 degrees coming to tan so tan 0 degrees tan 0 degrees is equal to y divided by x so y by x is equal to the value of y is equal to what is the value of y y is equal to 0 divided by x is equal to r the value of 0 divided by r is equal to 0 by anything is equal to 0 right so tan 0 degrees is equal to 0 and coming to cosecant cosecant 0 degrees is equal to what is the definition of cosecant theta r divided by y so that r divided by y will become r divided by y is equal to 0 r divided by 0 division with 0 is not defined so that r divided by 0 is undefined right and now after cosecant and then coming to secant 0 degrees so secant 0 degrees is equal to what is secant 0 degrees r divided by x so r divided by x is equal to the value of r is r and x is also equal to r r by r is equal to 1 so that is the value of secant 0 degrees and coming to final trigonometric ratio that is cot 0 degrees cot 0 degrees is equal to what is the definition of cot 0 x divided by y the value of x is equal to right i will write x divided by y the value of x is equal to what is the value of x here x is equal to what is x x is equal to r divided by y is equal to 0 so that r divided by 0 again it is undefined because division with zero is undefined so this way you can easily figure out the values of all trigonometric ratios at theta is equal to 0 degrees even though it is not available in a right angled triangle so that is why if you understand the definition so that it can be easily figure out the values of any trigonometric ratio got it fine so let's move on to after theta is equal to 0 degrees now we have theta is equal to 90 degrees now let's see how 90 degrees is formed according to this okay so how 90 degrees is formed according to this information and according to this definition once you observe here theta is equal to see here theta is equal to 0 degrees when theta is equal to 0 degrees when op coincides with x axis suppose if op coincide with y axis op coincide with y axis then we can say that theta is equal to 90 degrees got my point so for theta is equal to 90 degrees this is vertical axis and this is horizontal axis and now 
this is y and this is x this is o your p lying over here on y axis that is p if p is lying on y axis then this r value will be here r value will be on op but basically what is this length vertical length which is y right so since vertical length is equal to y so that where y value and r value both are same and now what about the value of x there is no horizontal distance since there is no horizontal distance x value is going to be zero right so with the help of this x y r will you be able to find out all six trigonometric ratios yes of course so first of all what is sin 90 degrees now theta is equal to 90 degrees sin 90 equal to y divided by r so y by r which is equal to the value of y is equal to r divided by r is equal to r so r by r is going to be 1 therefore the value of sin 90 degrees is equal to 1 coming to cos so what is cos 90 degrees theta equal to 90 x divided by r so that x divided by r but the value of x is equal to how much that is 0 so 0 divided by r is equal to r what is the value of 0 divided by anything which is equal to 0 and coming to tan so that tan 90 degrees so tan 90 degrees is equal to y divided by x y by x and the value of y is equal to r divided by x is equal to 0 what is r divided by 0 yes which is undefined so that the value of tan 90 is equal to undefined and coming to cosecant so cosecant 90 degrees is equal to r divided by y which is r by y is equal to the value of r is r and the value of y is also equal to r so therefore the value of r by r is going to be 1 so that is cosecant 90 degrees and then coming to secant 90 degrees so secant 90 degrees is equal to r divided by x so r by x substitute the values the value of r is equal to r and divided by x is equal to 0 so anything by 0 is equal to undefined therefore the value of secant 90 degrees is equal to undefined coming to the last trigonometric ratio that is cot 90 degrees which is cot 90 is equal to x divided by y which is equal to the value of x is equal to 0 divided by y is equal to r 0 by anything is equal to 0 right so this way we can find the values of six trigonometric ratios at theta is equal to 0 degrees theta is equal to 30 degrees theta is equal to 45 degrees theta is equal to 60 degrees and theta is equal to 90 degrees okay so this is the way of deriving the values of all six trigonometric ratios now i will just summarize all these six for these five angles okay and then i will just write them in a tabular form okay you will have to remember the tabular form of course i will tell you i will give you logics to remember the tabular values easily okay first let me write all the trigonometric ratios values at all these five specified angles okay now i am going to draw a table okay now that is right so i will write angles here and i will write trigonometric ratios so what are six trigonometric ratios first trigonometric ratio is going to be what is the first trigonometric ratio first trigonometric ratio is going to be sin and the second trigonometric ratio is going to be cos and third ratio is going to be tan next cosecant next secant next cards 
we derived for five five values right five angles specified angles what are those five specified angles can you please tell first specified angle is 0 degrees and then 30 degrees and then 45 degrees and then 60 degrees and then 90 degrees okay now i will write the values of all six trigonometric ratios we just derived all these things right so the value of sin 0 we got it as 0 sin 30 1 by 2 sin 45 1 by root 2 sin 60 is root 3 divided by 2 and sin 90 is equal to 1 correct and cos 0 is equal to 1 cos 30 is equal to root 3 by 2 cos 45 equals to 1 by root 2 cos 60 is 1 by 2 and cos 90 equals to 0 coming to tan tan 0 is equal to 0 tan 30 is equal to 1 by root 3 and tan 45 is equal to 1 and tan 60 is equal to root 3 and tan 90 is equal to undefined correct and coming to cosecant cosecant 0 is equal to undefined and cosecant 30 is equal to 2 cosecant 45 is equal to root 2 cosecant 60 is equal to 2 divided by root 3 and cosecant 90 is equal to 1 coming to secant values so secant 0 is equal to 1 secant 30 is equal to 2 by root 3 secant 45 is equal to root 2 secant 60 is equal to 2 secant 90 is equal to undefined and coming to cot 0 is undefined and cot 30 is equal to root 3 cot 45 is equal to 1 cot 60 is equal to 1 by root 3 and cot 90 is equal to 0 right so these are the values of six trigonometric ratios at some specified angles 0 degrees 30 degrees 45 degrees 60 and 90 degrees now you see it is very easy to remember the tabular values at any instant you know how to remember all these six trigonometric ratios once you observe the table okay i would like to give you um, something that uh, you, you could call them as tips see the table starts with zero ends with zero see when you are coming to earth you are nothing and when you are going and you are going away from the earth of course you are nothing right so your life starts with nothing and your life ends with nothing got it and coming to this sine values cos values tan cosecant secant cot you can understand one more thing here that sine ends with zero and then immediately cos starts with sine ends with one immediately cos starts with one and cos ends with zero tan starts with zero and tan ends with undefined and then cosecant starts with undefined cosecant ends with one and then secant starts with one and secant ends with undefined similarly cosecant starts with undefined and cosecant ends with zero again sine starts with zero so here whatever the column that you are taking whatever the last number of that particular trigonometric ratio that would be the immediately the first number for the next ratio see 1 1 0 0 undefined undefined 1 1 undefined undefined 0 0 right so that is one hint to remember and second thing is coming to co ratios co ratios means what if two trigonometric ratios are said to be co ratios then the word co should be added to one of the ratios then only they are said to be co ratios and moreover those two co ratios if you once observe sin and cos are co ratios correct these two are co ratios in these two co stands for complementary angles for example if i say 0 degrees is one of the angles what is the complementary to 0 degrees 0 plus how much is equal to 90 degrees 0 plus 90 is equal to 90 degrees 30 degrees plus how much is equal to 90 degrees 30 plus 60 is equal to 90 degrees so 0 degrees and 90 degrees are said to be complementary angles and 30 degrees and 60 degrees are said to be complementary angles 
and 45 plus how much equal to 90 obviously 45 so 45 degrees plus 45 degrees is equal to 90 degrees now these co ratios are equal at their complementary angles once you observe sin 0 degrees is equal to 0 0 plus how much is equal to 90 90 so that sin 0 value should exactly be equal to cos 90 degrees sin 0 equal to cos 90 why because 0 and 90 are complementary angles not only for 0 and 90 you can take any other two angles for example 30 and 60 sin 30 degrees should be equal to cos 60 degrees see sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2 cos 60 is also equal to 1 by 2 right so you do not have to remember all the values if you remember the values of one trigonometric ratio then you can remember the entire values of the trigonometric ratios everything for example coming to cosecant and secant see cosecant and secant these two are co-ratios right if you want to find out the values of cosecant then cosecant is basically related with sin because sin and cosecant both are reciprocals if you remember the values of sin then you can easily figure out the values of cosecant so the reciprocal values of sin are going to be the cosecant values see sin 0 is equal to 0 what is 1 divided by 0 undefined 1 divided by 1 by 2 is 2 1 divided by 1 by root 2 is root 2 1 divided by root 3 by 2 is 2 by root 3 1 divided by 1 is equal to 1 so if you remember sin values you can remember cosecant values if you remember cosecant values you can remember secant values why because cosecant and secant are uh, co ratios okay so cosecant 0 should exactly be equal to secant 90 because 0 and 90 degrees are complementary angles cosecant 30 is equal to 2 cosecant 30 is equal to secant 60 see secant 60 is equal to 2 and cosecant 45 is equal to root 2 45 is complementary to 45 so that secant 45 is also equal to root 2 like that we can find secant values as well as tan and cot both are co ratios again okay of course they are co ratios as well as they are reciprocals also if you remember the values of tan 1 by tan values will become cot values so this way you can easily figure out the values of every single trigonometric ratio if you just remember the values of sin i will just give you one more hint to remember the values of sin exactly okay because if you feel that remembering the values of all five values of sin is a bit difficult then i will give you hint for that also okay just have a look on this okay i am taking the values of only sin how am i getting the values of sin easily what is my logic a simple logic to figure out the values of sin okay so that simple logic is uh, like for example right see here the sine values are 0 1 by 2 1 by root 2 root 3 by 2 and 1 right so now i will just remember the values of sine and then i will give you a clear cut idea for the sine values okay i know that sine 0 degrees is equal to 0 sin 30 degrees is equal to 1 by 2 sin 45 degrees is equal to 1 by root 2 sin 60 degrees is equal to root 3 by 2 and sin 90 degrees is equal to 1 right this is what we placed in a table now how do i remember the values of sin that is what my point is you have first four whole numbers do you know what are first four whole numbers yes what are first four whole numbers what is the first whole number 0 1 2 3 and then 4 these are first five whole numbers i am taking first five whole numbers that is first one is 0 second 1 2 3 as well as 4 okay after writing first five whole numbers divide every single number by 4 divided 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 by 4 right and then take square root for every single number so square root of this square root of this square root of this square root of this square root of that now find out the values 0 divided by anything is equal to 0 square root 0 is equal to 0 that is the value of sin 0 1 divided by 4 square root 1 is equal to 1 by square root 4 is equal to 2 
1 divided by 2 is the value of sin 30. Square root 2 divided by 4, here 2 1s and 2 2s are 4. Square root 1 is equal to 1 by square root 2 is square root 2 only. So, 1 divided by root 2 is sin 45. Now, square root 3 divided by 4, 3 divided by 4 cannot be cancelled. So, split the square root for both numerator as well as denominator. Square root 3 is square root 3 divided by square root 4 equal to how much? Yes, that is 2. So, root 3 by 2 is the value of sin 60 and coming to 4 divided by 4 equal to 1, root 1 is equal to 1, that is sin 90 degrees. You understand? So, this way you can easily remember the values of sin. Okay, I repeat, to remember the values of sin, you will have to consider first 5 whole numbers. What are those first 5 whole numbers? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. After writing 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then divide every single number by 4. 0 by 4, 1 by 4, 2 by 4, 3 by 4, 4 by 4. And then take square root for every single number. And find out those values. Those values are the values of sign. This is just a hint. So that you can remember how these values are derived. How do you know these values? We already derived. Right? Just I am telling you one hint to remember these values easily. Because if you remember the values of sign, if you write the values of sign in reverse order, you will get the values of cos. Sin values by cos values will be tan values. 1 by sin values will be cosecant values. 1 by cos values will be secant values. Similarly, 1 by tan values will be cot values. Did you understand? So, this is about the values of all trigonometric ratios at some specified angles. Got it? Right. So, coming to the next concept, of course, you can easily figure out these values and uh, we will have a small uh, discussion on by taking some particular examples. Okay? So, those particular examples are like for example, find the value of find the value of sin 30 degrees plus cos 60 degrees plus 1 divided by tan 60 degrees plus cot 60 degrees. For example, if this problem is given and you are going to figure out, you are going to simplify this. For that, it is mandatory to remember the values of all trigonometric ratios. Okay? You should tell them instantly because this, this kind of questions may carry one mark or two marks. So that if you want to answer this problem, then I will go for the table. First, I will prepare the table and then from the table, I can easily extract all these values. It's time waste process. So, that is why you try to remember whatever the logic that you use behind this just to remember all these trigonometric ratios. But try to get the values instantly. Right? Now, what is the value of sin 30 degrees? Sin 30 degrees is equal to 1 by 2. Correct? Plus cos 60. Cos 60 and sin 30 both are same which is also equal to 1 by 2. Plus 1. 1 is nothing but 1 by 1 that is going to the numerator divided by coming to the denominator. What is the value of tan 60? Yes, tan 60 is equal to root 3 plus what is the value of cot 60? Cot 60 is equal to tan 30 which is equal to 1 by root 3. Okay? Now, simplify this 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2. You do not take LCM because you are being 10th grade student. 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is nothing but you should think about half plus half. What is half plus half? Is going to be 1. So, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 divided by what is the denominator and how do you simplify the denominator? Since the denominator has fractions in terms of irrational numbers, you can write root 3 plus 1 by root 3 as root 3 into root 3 is equal to 3 plus 1 divided by root 3. Okay? So, 3 plus 1 is going to be 4. Then you can write this one as 2 divided by 4 divided by root 3. So, you have a fraction in fractions. Right? So, that 2 divided by 1 is the numerator. So, that you write 2 divided by 1 multiplied by 4 divided by root 3 is in the denominator. If you transpose it to the numerator, the fraction will be reversed. So, that it is going to be root 3 divided by 4. So, finally, your answer is going to be 2 1s and 2 2s which is equal to root 3 by 2. And can you conclude this answer in terms of a trigonometric ratio? Because the answer is going to be root 3 by 2. But root 3 by 2 is the value of which trigonometric ratio? 
root 3 by 2 you see root 3 by 2 in first two columns so the root 3 by 2 is available with only sine and cos so that you can write the answer as sine how much is equal to root 3 by 2 sine 60 is equal to root 3 by 2 as well as sin 60 value is equal to cos 30 degrees. Therefore, sin 30 is equal to cos 60 will be the result of this fraction. Because sometimes uh, in multiple choice questions, you will be asked the result in terms of trigonometric ratios only, not in terms of the original numbers. So, then in that case, you can easily figure out the value of the trigonometric ratio, right. So, this is one of the examples. Let us move on to the second example that is second one sin 30 degrees into cos 60 degrees plus sin 60 degrees into cos 30 degrees whole divided by cosecant square 30 degrees minus cot square 30 degrees is equal to how much okay now sin 30 cos 60 into sin 60 cos 30 whole divided by cosecant square 30 minus cot square 30 first you should remember all the values of these trigonometric ratios right what is the value of sin 30 sin 30 equal to 1 divided by 2 into cos 60 the value of cos 60 is also same as sin 30 that is equal to 1 divided by 2 plus sin 60 the value of sin 60 is equal to root 3 divided by 2 into the value of cos 30 you know that sin 60 and cos 30 both are equal because 30 and 60 are complementary angles we had a discussion about that so that the value of cos 30 is also going to be root 3 by 2 that is about the numerator divided by coming to the denominator cosecant square 30 the value of cosecant 30 if you do not remember just think about the reciprocal of cosecant so the reciprocal of cosecant is equal to sin so cosecant 30 is equal to 1 by sin 30 you know what is sin 30 sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2 so that cosecant 30 is equal to 2 by 1 2 by 1 is nothing but 2 but cosecant square 30 right so 2 whole square minus cot square 30 so, cot 30 is the reciprocal of tan 30. So, tan 30 is equal to 1 by root 3. So, that cot 30 is going to be root 3. So, that it is root 3 whole square which is equal to now simplify 1 multiplied by 1 is equal to 1 divided by 2 multiplied by 2 is equal to 4 plus root 3 into root 3 is equal to root 3 whole square which is equal to 3 divided by 2 times 2 is equal to 4 whole divided by 2 whole square is equal to 4 minus root 3 whole square equals to 3 which is equal to see here 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4 since they are like fractions directly you can add both the numerators 1 plus 3 divided by 4 whole divided by 4 minus 3 is equal to 1 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 divided by 4 equal to 1 divided by 1 is equal to 1 so the value of the given fraction is going to be 1 Suppose if you want to express this result in terms of one of the trigonometric ratios, 1 is equal to which trigonometric ratio? Sin 90 is equal to 1, cos 0 is equal to 1, tan 45 is equal to 1, cot 45 is equal to 1, as well as cosecant 90 is also equal to 1 and secant 0 is also equal to 1. So, that is why you can write this one as any one of these trigonometric ratios. Got my point? Right. So, moving on to next example, that next example is, for example, um, write the third one is, find the value of 1 minus tan square 30 degrees divided by 1 plus tan square 30 degrees and cos 60 degrees find the value of 1 minus tan square 30 divided by 1 plus tan square 30 as well as find the value of cos 60 and what did you observe okay i am finding out the value of 1 minus tan square 30 degrees divided by 1 plus tan square 30 degrees for that you need to remember what is the value of tan 30 degrees what is the value of tan 30 
tan that is equal to 1 divided by root 3. So, that it will be 1 minus this is tan square right. So, 1 divided by root 3 whole square divided by 1 plus 1 divided by root 3 whole square. Okay. So, which is 1 minus 1 square is equal to 1 root 3 whole square is equal to 3 divided by 1 plus 1 divided by 3. What is 1 minus 1 by 3 is going to be 2 by 3 divided by 1 plus 1 by 3 is equal to 4 divided by 3. Okay. Now, 2 by 3 by 4 by 3 is going to be 2 by 4 which is equal to 1 by 2. Is this 1 by 2 not the value of cos 60? Exactly. So, that which is equal to cos 60 degrees. So, what did you observe here? You can understand one thing that 1 minus tan square 30 by 1 plus tan square 30 value is equal to cos 60 degrees. So, here you can understand that 1 minus tan square 30 by 1 plus tan square 30 equal to cos 60 and what is how can you write this 60 degrees? 60 degrees as 2 into 30 degrees. Okay. So, if you consider this 30 degrees is equal to theta, then we can say one formula, we can exactly identify one relation between them is 1 minus tan square theta divided by 1 plus tan square theta is equal to cos 2 theta. So, this is one relationship between tan as well as cot. Hope you understand. Thank you.